As we start today, I would suggest going back and reading John 6, 1 through 15. Although we're going to focus on Jesus' interaction with Philip and Andrew today, I thought it'd be helpful to see the story from beginning to end to understand what takes place between Jesus and his disciples. Jesus had been teaching and we are told that Jesus saw the crowd. Now when Jesus sees, it's more than just his eyes are observing something. Jesus perceives what is happening, the motives behind what is happening, and what will happen next. In other words, when Jesus sees, he sees everything. What was true in this story is true for us today. We know that God is sovereign and sees all things, knows all things, and can do all things. Yet God wants to involve us in His work in the world today. Jesus knew what was about to take place, yet even as He was about to provide for the people, Jesus is teaching the disciples. He engages Philip and asks him in verse 5, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? John tells us in the very next verse why Jesus asked the question. The purpose of the question was not to find out information on how to address the issue of food. The purpose of the question was to help Philip find out where he was at spiritually, to test him. This idea of testing is found throughout Scripture. In Genesis 22.1, Abraham's faith was tested when God asked him to sacrifice his son Isaac. In Judges, we're told that God tested the people of Israel through the other nations that were around them. Psalm 11.5 says, The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked, and the one who loves violence his soul hates. God's testing is to reveal truth and to offer people the opportunity to pass the test. Philip did not pass the test. It appears he didn't consider the spiritual aspect of Jesus' question. Philip appears to just consider the practical, so he gives a practical answer. In essence, Philip says eight months' wages wouldn't give everyone a bite of food. More often than I hate to admit, I can be like Philip. I can get so locked into the situation that I just see the practical and not the spiritual work that is going on around me. You see, God uses everyday events and activities around us to shape and transform us into being more like Christ. We must be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and look for God at work around us. Now contrast Philip's response to that of Andrew's. Andrew was the brother of Simon Peter and after Philip gives his answer, Andrew appears with a little boy with a meager amount of food. We're not told that Jesus was testing Andrew, but Andrew must have heard Jesus' question and he sought a solution. He brings a little boy, provides a list of the resources, five barley loaves and two fishes, but then he admits that he doesn't know if it will make a difference. He doesn't have a definitive answer, but he does have a little bit of faith. As followers of Christ, we face moments of testing. The testing we face can be done for various reasons. 1 Peter 1.7 says that the purpose of testing is to result in praise and worship of God. James 1.3 tells us that testing produces endurance. And 2 Corinthians 2.9 reveals that the testing is done to reveal if we are of the faith. When we are tested, we should remember that God wants us to pass the test. He is testing us for our benefit and not our harm. We should be aware that testing is coming and we should be prepared. I don't think Philip willfully ignored the spiritual. He just didn't consider the spiritual opportunity before him. You and I must be in tune with the Holy Spirit and be ready to consider the spiritual opportunities in the big and small moments. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for saving us from our sin through Jesus Christ. We are thankful that our salvation is dependent upon Him and not our ability to always pass the test. Forgive us when we fail. Help us to be mindful of our faith and depending upon you and not ourselves. Help us to grow in our faith by entrusting more and more to you and depending upon you. As we go through testing, may you be glorified in our response and may others be encouraged by our endurance. Amen.